and burns with eschar formations, needing reconstruction of the mandible and maxillae, which are taken nicely, and then grafting everything below and including the nasal concha. Now, I've been trying reconstruction, uh, in some cases in Ward 7, the uh, mental ward. Marginal success, but this one's my showcase. Should come out quite well. You have a mental ward in a soldier's hospital? Uh, yes, there's a high, high incident of battle fatigue. Shell shock. Shell shock? Oh, Charlie, the Americans haven't heard of shell shock. Well, I'm sure it'll come up in the future. Well, we've heard the term shell shock, but where we come from, it's called cowardice. Uh, well, it's not my specialty. I'm going to say goodbye now, Jamie. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Charlie. Rapunzel was free to travel the world in search for her blind prince. And she found him there, lost and dying in the wilderness. And she held him and wept. Rapunzel's tears fell on his eyelids. And suddenly, the spell was broken. He could see. He took her to his kingdom, and there, they lived happily ever after. Now, uh, the structure will have changed somewhat. My goal was more to balance the two sides than to create an exact reconstruction. As I was saying, the damage here was extensive, and you can see how I had to completely reconstruct the maxillae and mandible and the uh, palatin and conca. Then, of course, apply the skin grafts. Are the uh, eyes and orifices all functional? Oh, my orifices are functional. Are yours, darling? Yes, functioning and healing well. Well, we're impressed, Doctor. Good work especially under the uh, difficult circumstances. Hmm. Now, there's one completely reconstructed cranium you must see. Just take a moment. Well, that boyish dimple is still there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't ruin my boyish dimple. No. OK. Give me a mirror. Jamie's not fully healed. Give me a damn mirror. Jamie, and the other doctors. Huh. Uh, I think I'd like to be alone for a little while, Charlie. Jamie, there'll be other two. Please. and healing well. Everything's terrific, except he's hideous. Your doctor did exceptional reconstructive work. On the body, what about the rest of his life? He's lucky to be alive. You call that lucky? You can't blame the doctors. We're just trying to do our job. Well, you'll have no shortage of work there. If this war goes on much longer, the whole generation will wind up functional and healing well. Unlike those poor sons of bitches in Ward 7. They're not cowards. They just can't understand the true nature of this nightmare. I'm sorry, Captain. There's no admittance. Captain! I feel so badly for you. I mean, it's such a damn waste of good work. He could have saved you all this trouble if you just had the courtesy. To... 